Okay, so I'm here in front of the property, the driveway. It looks like there was some sewer line work there. You see where they cut into it. Now they got a new four inch clean out, PVC. Like I can go both directions. So first I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna head up into the house. And right off the bat, you can see it's cast iron. I don't know if I'll be able to get past that. It's a big offset joint going the opposite direction. So let's see if I can do it. Okay, there you go, got past it. So inside the house, clean camera, we're gonna have cast iron piping, some heavy corrosion and scaling going on here. Looks like it was serviced, so but you'll have the remains always. Um, going up into the house, we're about 15 feet in. And looks like a little joint there. So there's a change of material. Like some ABS connection. Now we're into ABS. So a little section of uh, cast iron and then right back into ABS. Put some water here. I'll get past that. That would be a little bit of a valley is why the water stays. Okay, then then we're back in. So we have some pipe work done, a little ABS, and then back into cast iron. And our waistlines. Again go as far as I can and that's probably clean out right there I just saw and the line or she got some little critters okay so now I'm gonna pause you I'm gonna pull back out well clear just got some old cast iron piping and some ABS points that they fixed so they were back into the ABS water Sitting here is a little belly going on. Not much, but expect it. Again, take a picture of that ABS piping. Pulling back out. So nothing here, just older cast iron pipes. You gotta clean out so you can do some maintenance when you need to. Now I'm turning down. Now I'm pulling back down towards the city street. Again, we're in the PVC right here. And it looks like some PVC piping clear. So this is new. Dropping straight down. Make it a turn. It's still clear. This is all newer again where we did some work. And then we just switch back. Same looks good. It's clear. All right. So we still you can tell they did some maintenance. All right, there's cast iron. I'm gonna clear that picture out, but you got tree roots coming in. We're about 23 feet down. Good thing is you got a clean out that was put in recently. Um, bad news is you got tree roots and they're gonna keep coming back. So this is this clay area is gonna need a liner eventually, or you have to keep maintaining it by hydro dripping. We're at 29 feet down. I'm gonna run some water and put you on pause and clear this line up so you can see a little better picture. So we're back on line. Water's finally made it through. Clean camera and snap picture. And that is a city main right there. Connection, top hat looks good. You can snap picture. So it's at 40 feet. Pull back. And we have, let's go back to the connection for the roots. So it's at 22 feet. Still in the clay piping. Stuck is a little strange. So right there is where you would need it, I'd say. 
So you have about 20 feet if you want to run a liner in that, and that's at about 150 a foot to run a epoxy liner, solve that problem permanently. Okay, going back out. And we're back out. Overall, uh, I'd say everything looks pretty clean. clean. It's nice that they did some work to it. Um, fortunately, they didn't address the uh, roots over there. They cleaned them out, put this clean out in, which is nice. But they should have ran probably a liner to address those uh, incoming tree roots on the clay line there. Alright, thank you for using Reliable Property Inspection.